What's good people, welcome back to the video. Today I'm asking to Party Next Door, Recognized, featuring Drake. Haven't checked out Party Next Door in a minute, to be honest. The actually only Party Next Door thing we've checked out is uh, Party Next Door, the self-titled mixtape, which is absolutely fantastic. And I did say I was gonna do Party Next Door 2, which I am still gonna do. Sort of just fell down the list a bit, but this track is actually off here. I've literally just picked the most popular track, which I presume is just down to Drake being on it. We've been checking out some Drake here and there, so I just thought this might be interesting. Like I said, I really, really enjoyed Party Next Door. The mixtape, although it was absolutely fantastic, like really took me by surprise. I wasn't sure what to expect because I'd never really listened to him before then. Yeah, man, just really, really impressed. And a few of you guys are told me to check out some more Party Next Door, so I'll do this. See how this goes down. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see Party Next Door 2 and I'll get on that as soon as possible. Before we jump into it, guys, if you're new around here, please drop a sub. We're on the road to 3K and we're trying to hit that as soon as possible. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, description below. And of course, drop a like or a comment on the video as well. I really appreciate it. But without further ado, let's get into this, man. One thing that stood out to me massively was just how insane his production was on that first project. Really experimental. It's definitely got the voice for it, doesn't it? Mm. Bro, I'm liking this so far, man. Again, it's sort of carrying on from the sort of production style from some of the stuff I've heard previously. Just, you know, very experimental. That's the one thing that I pulled from his previous stuff as well. Someone let me know if he produces, like he produced the first album or mixtape. I'm intrigued, but I'm liking the sound of this so far. It's quite a slow little build up, but with the length of the track being as long as it is, sort of makes sense, but enjoying it so far. The vocals are nice, the drums that are coming in, slowly just adding more elements as we go. Hey. I love that you little backing vocal niggas. in the back. Sorry if my work's covered in dang. Love that. Still riding this relatively chilled wave. It's not getting too intense, it's sort of just the right amount of intensity. Loving that like really quick, almost hi-hat. Love this guy's vocals. Hey. <laughs> Every time it drops, it's just growing on me even more. Great sound, it's really big. Hey. I love this man, I'm really enjoying this. He's creating such a big sound out of um you know quite a generally erratic sort of drum pattern and stuff like that, but the vocals are riding over this really well. I'm loving how it's sort of coming down and that every time it kicks back in with those drums, it's getting more and more intense and there's more being added to it and the sound is just becoming bigger and bigger. Again, we've just come back down to this low sort of vocal and the production's got really simplistic. I'm really liking the way this tune is going. We're only like halfway through as well. I'm really intrigued to know how Drizzy comes in on this too, but I'm enjoying this, man. This has definitely just grown on me as the track's gone on, which I found with a few of his tunes. They sort of just grow in intensity, like I mentioned, and by the end of it, you're just like, you know, blown away by it. But I'm really fucking with this, man. You got niggas, and I got bitches. 
Bro, that backing vocal is killing me, man. It's so soulful. Now I got bitches. You got niggas. Yeah, like a really faint guitar in the back as well. In the city when I'm not there, oh, you time. Let's plan something out when I come back from Europe. Swear I'm withholding my urges till you get this one on one shit like your name, Katie Kurt. I gotta get you those snow tires for your Mercedes. I'm glad you reminded me, baby. All of these things let my mind, it's been crazy. Bite on your shoulder, I know that's your favorite. Touching yourself to that video we made a month ago. You a freak and your covers blown. How you told me in the sending that to you? I never know. Fuck it, girl, I'm about whatever, though. Shit, sorry, I just realized I just fucking paused on the drop. I just had to pause at some point. Bro, I'll, I'll rewind it to hit that drop again, but bro. I love how Drake's come in. It was weird. His vocals were soft, and then they sucked suddenly got more loud and intense and sort of cut through the soft lyrics but soft lyrics soft vocals but i'm enjoying this man again drake's just on his fucking love shit isn't he bro it just seems to hit man i don't know when this came out when did this come out okay 2014 that sort of makes a bit more sense man it's weird to think this came out this long ago because it doesn't sound particularly dated whatsoever like, i'm really fucking with the sound and uh, drake's flow just a second ago bro he's just talking his shit man just talking about his lady it's usual Drake shit, man, but I've loved how he's come in on this. Loved how he's come in on this. I'm gonna rewind a little bit because I fucking completely missed the drop. Month ago, you were freaking your covers blown. How you told me in the sending that to you? I never know. Fuck it, girl, I'm about whatever, though. Yeah, I guess a nigga just believe in you, and that's proof for you. Can name a lot of things any other man won't do for you. I'll do it for you, that's real. Okay guys, that was Recognized by Pine Oaks Door featuring Drake. Really dope, man. Really, really dope. It's got me quite excited to listen to this project in general. Man, really dope. I haven't really seen this track popped up in my comments too much. To be honest, everyone's just sort of told me to check out projects, but I really fucked with that, man. I thought Drake had a great sort of moment in that. It was definitely a great collaboration. Obviously, you know, they're signed, well, Pine Oaks Door signed to OVO, so they're gonna have that sort of chemistry. But I thought overall, I was a bit worried about the length of the track being five minutes, but I think it actually, overall came up really big i feel like i wasn't sat there like waiting for shit to happen uh, i feel like slowly it was like i said it was growing in intensity at least on party next door sort of version of it i like the really slow sort of anticipation building intro as well just thought the instrumentation was fantastic all the different elements coming in out those hi-hats and those drums are fantastic i loved how high and low it was going Vocals were great. And yeah, Drake had a really nice little segment in that as well. You know, just doing his normal shit with the lyrics. But I liked always playing around with his vocals and sort of going soft and then quite intense, switching up the flow from time to time. But just usual service resumes from Drake, to be honest with you. But I just thought this was a dope collab, man. A great track. If you guys are really to check out this full sort of album, I, is it an album or is it, I presume it's a mixtape? Uh, let me know in the comments below because it's not too long either. The first uh, Party Next Door mixtape was like 10 tracks long and it was really enjoyable, to be honest with you. After listening to the 10 tracks, I probably could have had a couple more, to be honest. I think this is 12. Yeah, it's 12, which is is a good number for a, for a mixtape. Uh, yeah, man, I'm just well up for listening to this. If you guys want me to check it out, let me know in the comments below. Anyway, guys, if you like the video, drop a like. If you enjoy my action off a point, you want to see me again, then please drop a sub. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, description below. If you have any requests for any party next door, Drake, or anyone else, check in the comments below. But for the meantime, guys, I've been Charlie, and I'll see you in the next one.